Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering question and answers on ServiceNow CAD. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Today question is Access control debug information identifies whether each element of an access control granted or denied access. The elements appear in the debug information in the order of evaluation. In which order are the elements of an access control evaluated? Option A. Conditions, Roles, Script Option B. Conditions, Script Roles. Option C. Roles, conditions, script. And option D. Script, conditions, roles. The correct answer is option C. Next question is Assume a table called table exists and contains three fields field 1, field 2, and field 3. Examine the access control list for table. Which field or fields can a user with the it ill rule read? Option A. All fields except field 3. Option B. Field 1, field 2 and field 3. Option C. Field 1 and field 3. And option D, field 3 only. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, assume a table called table exists and contains 3 fields, field 1, field 2 and field 3. Examine the access control list for table. Please go through the list. The correct answer is, Sorry, which field or fields can a user with the ETL role read? Option A, field 3 only. Option B, field 1 and field 3. Option C, all fields. And option D, all fields except fields 3. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which of the following is not a caller access field option? Option A, caller tracking. Option B, caller restriction. Option C, none. And option D, caller permission. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which method is used to retrieve application property values in a script? Option A, GS, GET property. Option B, GFORM, GET APP property. Option C, GFORM, GET property. And Option D, GS, GET APP property. The correct answer is option A. Next question is, what module link type is used to access an application properties page? Option A, single record. Option B, HTML from arguments. Option C, URL from arguments. And option D, script from arguments. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, identify the way an application can respond to an event generated by the GS event queue method. Option A, script action. Option B, scheduled script execution. Sorry, these are the methods. A, script action. 
B. Scheduled script execution. Option C. UI policy. And D. Email notifications. And the options are A, B, and C. Option B. B and C. Option C. A and D. And option D. A and C. The correct answer is option C. Next question is when troubleshooting and debugging notifications, where do you navigate to see if an email was sent response to an event? Option A system logs events. Option B system logs emails. Option C system logs push notifications. And option D, system logs, ICE log. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, what are the benefits of storing the majority of an application server side script logic in a script input? A, this make execution faster. B, only run when called from a script. C. The script logic can be hidden when the application is inst installed from the service now stored. D. For some changes to application logic, there is only one place to make edits. Option A. A, B and D. Option B. A, B, C and D. Option C. B, C and D. And option D. A, B and C. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following is not a flow designer feature? Option A, run a flow from a catalog item. Option B, call a flow from another flow or subflow most met voted. Option C, add stages to a flow. And option D, test a flow using the run as feature. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, what is the purpose of the whole sec field when importing data? Option A, if a match is not found, the existing record is updated. Option B, to determine if a record matches an existing record or is a new record. Option C, to identify and merge duplicate records. And option D, when a match is found, a new record is inserted. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, if you create a SOAP message, what syntax indicates a variable to pass when the function is called? Please go through the options. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which of the following is not a way to install an application on a service now instance? Option A, install an application from the application repository. Option B, select the copy button on the application record. Option C, download and install an application from the service now share website. And option D, Download and install a third party application from the service now store. The correct answer is option B. Next question is using custom UI test step in automated test framework, which of the following is not a testable page component? Option A buttons, option B UI controls, option C UI pages. And option D, form field values. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, flow designer supports variable data types to store record data and complex data. Which of the following are supported variable data types? Choose three options. Option A, choice data type. Option B, array reference data type. Option C, integer data type. Option D, 
फ्रीडम डेटा टाइप ऑप्शन ई अरे बोलेन डेटा टाइप एंड ऑप्शन ई लेबल डेटा टाइप द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सी एंड ई If you are looking for any particular certification which is currently not available on our channel please mention that in the comment our team will prioritize those thank you